sun, surf, seclusion and stunning scenery. You really can have it all along West Australia's coral coastline, especially when you're travelling with an all-terrain family camper like this new age Wayfinder. This particular location is Warra Station, a working farm come camping paradise. But you'll need something off-road capable to access some of the best spots. To get in, you travel about 20 kilometres down a corrugated track, passing the homestead before heading to one of the more isolated and spectacular camp spots. The top spec Wayfinder Adventurer is just the thing for our coastal adventure, with its coil independent suspension and tough all-terrain tyres, Cruise Master DO35 coupling and body protection. It certainly rides the bumps well and does an okay job of keeping the dust from entering inside. One thing missing is a separate stone guard up front, but there's a Raptor protective coating to take the brunt of the stone chips. Weighing around 1800 kilograms, the Wayfinder is a breeze to tow, whether on the dirt or bitumen highway, and I can hardly feel it behind this twin turbo Ford Everest. It's also about the same height and width of the tow vehicle so we don't have to fuss with towing mirrors. Setting up the Wayfinder on the aptly named Veronica's Vista is pretty straightforward. Probably the biggest chore when setting up is winding up the roof, which takes about a hundred vigorous turns. It's good exercise though. After dropping the legs, both bed ends slide out and supporting poles put in place before moving inside and sliding the hockey stick supports at each bed end. The door then drops into place and the canvas secured with buttons and Velcro. The wind out box awning is a cinch to set up by comparison. There's also a handy double step to get inside while an external locker and front boot take care of items like hoses and camp chairs. The new age camper also comes with a picnic table and outside TV connections, as well as a gas bayonet for hooking up a barbecue. The top spec Wayfinder is also pretty well equipped for a few days free camping. There's an 8 litre tank and pump for fresh water and a 9 kilogram gas bottle to run the three way fridge and cooktop, while the 150 watt rooftop solar panel keeps the 100 amp hour battery charged up to run the lights, radio and TV. You'll need to be on a powered site however if you want to run the microwave and optional under seat air conditioner. Step inside and there's enough living space for everyone as well as that wow factor, 360 degree view, only a wind up camper can deliver. There are separate lounge dinettes for parents and kids, a kitchen with heaps of bench space, and two big queen size beds, while the big mesh windows feature zipped plastic covers and draw curtains for nighttime. There are also some decent interior storage options in the Wayfinder. Most are located around the kitchen, including a couple of drawers and a few good cupboards for pots, pans and dry foods, while the 93 litre fridge should keep you in fresh food and coldies for a few days. Importantly for a family camper, there's enough electrical sockets to keep all the devices charged up. Hot running water and external shower are not included as standard, but available as options, although there's an outside tap for washing the feet. There's no toilet either, so you'll need to BYO when free camping. The Melbourne built Wayfinder may not be the cheapest wind up camp on the market, but it's solidly built and well equipped for a rough and tumble family holiday. And we've certainly had very little to complain about on this trip. So where to next?